For those of you who've suffered with muzzle wraps, this is the video you need to watch. Hi guys, welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna to discuss muzzle wraps. This is something that's been going on ever since spear guns were invented. Nobody really knew what caused it and what could prevent it. I started to notice that it was specific to certain people, not the gun brand as such. So a mate using exactly the same gun wouldn't have it, whereas the other guy would always have it. And it got me thinking that it must be something they're doing, the way they load, the way the gun is set up. And we started to experiment until we found what we believe is the cause. And I used to also suffer with it probably once in 20 or 30 shots until I started using this technique to prevent it. Uh, from that day on, never had another muzzle wrap. In the vice here, I've just set up a basic gun, single band, standard muzzle, not roller. And I'm going to try and demo what I'm pretty sure is what happens in the water. This is a very long rubber just for the demonstration here. As this rubber pulls towards the muzzle, the spear will be running ahead of it and this line will loop up. Keep it steady there. As this line loops up, keep going, this rubber eventually lets go of the spear and can drop through that line and become lassoed. As this all fouls up, that's what you will see. The whole affair happens so fast, few people get to see it, but this is what constricts your spear from going any further. On a high-powered gun, this line can actually cut into the bands. Obviously, with a double rubber, you have twice as many loops throwing up, twice as many chances of that loop catching it. What we have noticed, the frequency of muzzle wraps seems to be much greater with Dyneema. The Dyneema seems to be more prone to it. I think because mono is so much stiffer, it tends to lag behind. It definitely occurs way less. I've had lots of customers stop using Dyneema and go back to mono purely because of muzzle wraps. So what I'm gonna show you here is a way to prevent this loop from being trapped between the bands and throwing up and causing the muzzle wrap. So, there's your standard gun, line going through the muzzle from the spear. This is now on top. Pre-rail guns, that line used to often be trapped under the spear, so it was less likely to occur. Rail guns seem to have increased the probability of muzzle wraps. Once you've loaded, that mono is now trapped in that zone. That's what creates that loop that moves forward and this band to then flick through. That's what you don't want. To get it out, just grab it at the back or lift up the bands in the middle, grip that line and pop it out. As long as it's popped out to the side, there's no way this band can loop that mono and cause the muzzle wrap. Another trick I do, every time I load, before I engage the wishbone, I just use my finger to knock the line out the way. That way I don't have to fish for it. It's out to one side. It's not going to entangle in anything. I've pulled it out to the right side. Doesn't matter whether you're left or right, but preferably pull it out to the same side as you drop the line around the muzzle. Whether that makes much difference, I'm not really sure, but it's the way I do it. And since doing this, I've never had another muzzle wrap. So now, same gun, this time with Dyneema. Probably be more visible than the black mono. When loading, pull the Dyneema out with your finger. Engage, check that it's out. If it is trapped inside, pull it out from under the bands. Whether there is one or two bands, you can pull it from right back here. There it lies along the side and under the rubber, the rubber will flick up, the Dyneema will flow through. The wrap on the front is exactly the same. I've pulled it out to the right side and I've wrapped on the right side. So, there's the demo with Dyneema. For those of you who like Dyneema, you can prevent future muzzle wraps. 
Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Stand by for the next.